Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can use QFile dialog class in Qt. The QFile dialog class provides a dialog that allows user to select files or directories. So uh, it will allow you to choose a file or directory. So for example, uh, when I go to file here and uh, when I say open file or project, and it will give me this kind of uh, file dialog right and this is the function of qfile dialog so it will open this kind of file dialog using which you can choose your uh, file or directory right so let's get started i have created this uh, sample project called qfile dialog demo and first of all i will go to my main window.ui file and i will drag and drop a button here that's all we need for this uh, tutorial and then what i'm going to do is i will say open file for example okay and uh, i will just right click on it and then go to slot and select clicked and click ok now in here in order to uh, use q file dialog obviously we need to provide the header for uh, the q file dialog right so let's include it so just write include and then just write q file dialog okay so this is the one we need okay so the easiest way to create a q file dialog is to use a static function called get open file name okay so what we are going to do is we will first of all create a q string variable so just write q string and then it will return us the file name with the path so just write file uh, name for example here is equal to q file dialog and then we will call a static function called get open file name so just write open file name and then it takes few argument first argument is the parent class which is uh, this itself second argument is the caption or uh, the title which you want to show on uh, the open file dialog for example open a file right this is the title this will be the title right the third argument is the home directory for your uh, file dialog so whatever directory you will provide here it will open for the first time right so for example we can provide here c colon slash and it will open uh, c directory for the first time something like this okay and then the last argument is the filter but we will uh, see it uh, in a little while but these are the few uh, basic items uh, which it requires or uh, these are the few basic argument which it requires right and then we can use uh, message box to show the file path so just write uh, q message box and then you can just take this message box and then uh, you can say information this and uh, the title i will not give any title and the third argument is uh, the message so let's uh, print the file name which it returns okay something like this so let's run the program and let's see what happens when we uh, run it so when it runs we will be able to see when we press the button that it will open c folder hopefully so i will just click this open button and it opens the c folder which i have uh, provided here you see here it says okay because i haven't selected any file but i want to show you here that i have provided the default home directory which is c that's why it was showing me uh, the c folder when i press the button like this right now you can uh, browse anywhere and uh, choose any file for example i'm going to choose a text file and then i will click open and then it shows me the path of uh, this file which is c colon slash hex logs dot text right the second way of providing uh, the home directory is you can just use a q dir class which we have seen in the previous video so just include first of all uh, q dir and then you can use this q dir class to uh, you know call the home path so you can just write q dir and then just call home path 
something like this and then when you run the app and when you press the button let's see what happens so when I click this open file it's going to uh, open the home directory of your computer in my case it's programming knowledge right so you can do something like that and it will return you the file path right now in the previous video I have shown you how you can uh, use Q file demo right and I have shown you how you can uh, you know create a file and write into it and how you can read a file okay so I will go to uh, that example now which I have shown you in the previous video so if you don't know how to how I have created this uh, Q file uh, you know demo you can see the last uh, you know video okay and in here for example I will just uh, choose it as a active project so just right click on it and set it as an active project and when I run it I will show you once again what I have done in the last video so when I click read here it's going to read the file which I have uh, provided by default here so in here in the main window dot uh, cpv file I was providing this static path here and for example now what I want to do is I want to uh, you know uh, choose the file dynamically so I can do it using this Q file dialog right so in here in the read uh, button in the last video I will just right click and go to slot and go to clicked here and I am in the you know button click event and this was the code I have written last time right and what it was doing is uh, I have provided the static path here and using this static path it was reading this file which was my file dot text but now what I want is instead of the static path I want to provide this path dynamically using Q file dialog right so what I can do here is once again I can uh, first of all I need to include this Q file uh, dialog uh, class so I will just include it so just include uh, Q file uh, dialog just choose this option and then just uh, create an object here right so I will just uh, write Q string which will it which it will return and then the file name so just write file name is equal to Q file dialog and then call a method called get open file right so get open file name you right and then the first argument is the parent second argument is the title for example open a file and the third argument is the home directory for example so I will just uh, choose uh, for example the C directory once again so I will just choose uh, C directory C colon slash slash something like this right and it will uh, return the path of the file which I will choose and instead of uh, this I can just path this uh, Q string here right so I don't have to give it statically I can just choose it from the open file dialog and I can use it now when I run the program and uh, once it's running and when I click this read uh, uh, button here it will give me this uh, kind of interface and whatever file I will choose here it will read it so for example I will choose this hex log dot text file and I will click open and it reads this file the content of this file right now for example I want to read uh, the CPP file so I will just uh, copy the path of uh, the file I will just open uh, the location and I will just copy the path from here and in my app which I'm using I will just click read uh, uh, button once again I will just give the path here and I will choose uh, this uh, main dot uh, main window dot cpp file and click open and it reads the content of this file also right now one last thing I want to show here is the filter argument so when I click this read button you can see there is no filter provided here for example I want to just show the user the text file or only the PDF files or only the you know image files right so how we can apply the filter let's see so I will just uh, go to my code here and in here in the declaration of Q file dialog get open file uh, we have 
three uh, argument here and the fourth argument is the filter it takes right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a Q string once again so just define a Q string and I will name it as a filter for example okay and here you can provide different kind of filters to your uh, you know Q file dialog so for example first filter you want to provide is all files so I will just say all uh, files and then you just need to give a bracket and in the bracket you just need to give the wildcard extension which you want to show so asterisk is the wildcard and then dot uh, the uh, last part of the uh, file for example when you show this filter it will show you each and every file extension asterisk means uh, the wild card here so it can search for uh, every uh, file extension right now if you pro want to provide different kind of filters uh, some more filters for example what you can do is you can provide two semicolons and then you can provide the next filter for example this time you want to provide the text file uh, filter so just write text uh, file and then in the bracket you will give the filter so this time i will just say asterisk dot txt okay for the text file this is the filter for the text file right now for example i want to uh, show the filter for uh, some more kind of file i can just give uh, the two semicolons and this time for example i want to uh, just filter for the xml file so i will just say xml files and then in the bracket I will just say asterisk dot XML right so in the same way you can uh, define uh, any number of filters you want and then just provide uh, this last argument here as a fourth argument of this get open file dialog name and when you run your program your filter will be applied hopefully so when I click this read button now you have these filter all files then text file then xml file so all file will show you each and every folder here but when i choose uh, text file then it will uh, just show me the text file you can see folders and only the text file the extension will be .txt and no other file extensions right and when i choose uh, this uh, xml file it will only show me the xml extension so this folder doesn't contain any xml file so that's why there is no uh, file shown here right so in this way you can also provide the filter to your files so this is how you can use open file dialog in qt i hope you've enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now